Welcome to this week's bookend update. My bookend update for this week is a short read at only 114 pages long. Skeleton Man is a Native American inspired tale by award-winning author Joseph Bruchak. In this book, we meet Molly. When Molly's parents go missing, social services puts her unwillingly into the home of her great uncle. She has never met him, nor has she ever heard of him. She thought there were no surviving members on either side of her family. The traumatic experience set her already high imagination into overdrive. The whole experience reminds her of one of her tribe's legends. The Mohawk's legend of the skeleton man is about a man with an appetite so insatiable that he eats himself down to the bones, then goes after his relatives. Molly has a feeling that she is in danger and she dreams of running from Skeleton Man. But Molly can't convince anyone except a sympathetic but powerless teacher that she's in danger. Is it just Molly's imagination or is her great uncle a dangerous being? Read The Skeleton Man to find out. Thanks, Spencer. The book I chose this week is The Left-Handed Booksellers of London by Garth Nix. In this book, we meet Susan. She's just graduated from high school and she's headed off to London in search of her dad. Now, this is London in the early 80s and there's kind of an alternate reality going on. There's old, the old world magic and the new present day London. Um, one of the first people Susan meets is Merlin and he is a left-handed bookseller. The left-handed booksellers are in charge of keeping the magic from the old world in the old world. Um, so that they don't clash in the new world. So he and Susan set off on all these adventures to try to find her dad and then Merlin's sister Vivian is along for the ride. This book is fast-paced, energetic, and really funny and if you're a fan of fantasy or magic at all this is a good combo of, of um, real world with kind of the alternate reality sprinkled in and I think you'll really enjoy it. That's all for this week. Join us next time on Bookend Update.